Hello and welcome to Tour Obscure, episode number two. Today we're in Barnsley, good old Barnsley, where everybody talks right funny. And we're at Barnsley, Maine. This is the site of the worst coal mining disaster in England. So we're going to go through all of that, see what occurred there. And we'll be having a look at this, which is the surviving headgear from... Barnsley Main Colliery, which was originally the Oaks Colliery. Situated on Oaks Lane stands the surviving headgear of Barnsley Main Colliery. After falling into disrepair after its closure in 1991, the site is now looked after by the Barnsley Main Heritage Group, who have turned the site from an industrial wasteland into a beautiful green space where the public can enjoy a picnic in the shadow of the Barnsley Main headgear. So as we approach the old headgear at Barnsley Main, You've got plenty of information boards giving you a rundown of the history of the place. But this one's really interesting. So this photo shows you the slag heap, which would have uh, been from all the waste from the mine. And that photo is of that hill just there. And you can see the uh, headgear just to the left hand side there. So that's quite a change. Obviously, it's been uh, landscaped to some extent. And surrounding the site, we've got plenty of old tracks. These will have been from the uh, wagons carrying the coal. But these tracks do lead all the way up to the headgear. But there's some parts what do branch off, as you'll see just in a couple of seconds. This little bit branches off somewhere down that way and disappears into the uh, overgrowth. This one continues all the way to the headgear. So it's more than just the headgear what they've preserved, which is nice. And as you can see, we've got other little bits of branches of railways just forking off another little bit there as well so it really was quite a complex system and then just in these two little cabins here is the Barnsley Main Heritage Group I believe and they've got a little museum so we'll go and have a chat with them and we'll uh, see what they know and the lovely ladies who work in the uh, Barnsley Main Heritage Group have just uh, pointed me to this which you might be interested in Barnsley Main open day so you've got guided tours you've got refreshments and May crafts so get you sent down that sounds like uh, a good opportunity to visit well unfortunately the museum is closed uh, it's reopening in a couple of weeks uh, I believe they've been closed for the uh, winter season. Lovely ladies in there though, they've uh, given me lots of information and a little information card as well. So Barnsley Main Colliery. It's a rare survivor of South Yorkshire's rich coal mining heritage. The buildings stand as a reminder of an industry that powered the industrial revolution and shaped the lives of generations. This site was mined for over 170 years until Barnsley Main finally closed in 1991. Today, the winding engine house appears isolated, but they were once part of a bustling complex. On the bank between the building and Oaks Lane are two bollards marking the locations of old mine shafts. The nearest one was called the cupula shaft and was used to ventilate the old Oaks Colliery. In 1866, the Oaks Colliery suffered the worst mining disaster in English history. So these two bollards are the markers of old shafts, 
and this one here is of the original Oaks colliery ventilation shaft. And if you look at this photo, what I'm about to put on the screen, you'll see a large chimney type structure. It was known as the cupola. And this is the marker where that stood. So what happened on that fateful day in December 1866? It was about an hour before the workers were due to clock off the shift just after 1 p.m. And unfortunately, a huge fire damp explosion ripped through the workings at the Oaks Colliery. Believe it or not, the blast was felt from three miles away and residents reported hearing what sounded like thunder but coming from underground. Some described it as like an earthquake. So that shows you the sheer power of this explosion. Unfortunately, 361 people in total died, including 27 rescuers. So this site is uh, its a very sombre one. And its uh, I, I do believe if there were one colliery which should have been preserved in this fashion and retained as like a, a nice place for people to come, as you can see, there's plenty of greenery. It's nice benches, flowers, etc. They've picked right one in this one. It's uh, very sad to think, but 361 people dying at once. You can imagine what that did to a community, especially back in the 1800s when communities were very close knit. Uh, all families tend to live in the same area, so you can imagine. But this particular area, Barnsley, Hoyle Mill, Stairfoot. Yeah, it must have been a very, very tough few months for uh, the entire community. Once it was deemed safe enough to do so, the first rescuers went down to see if they could find any survivors. They found 20 men badly burned, and I believe 14 of them died when they were brought up to the surface. Rescue operations continued for three days after that, but it was marred by several other explosions on the ground. When you have a fire damp explosion, you get something called after damp as a result of that. And that can be just as bad, if not worse, as a fire damp explosion. On the second day of rescue attempts, 27 rescuers went down into the mine. And unfortunately, there was another explosion which killed all 27 of them. It was not deemed safe to continue one last check was made to see if there were any signs of life, which there was none. So the decision was made to seal up the shafts in order to prevent any fires uh, from getting worse and extinguish them. Once the explosions had finished underground and it was deemed safe, the remaining 150 bodies, which were still underground, were brought up to the surface and were buried in local cemeteries. Uh, I do believe one particular cemetery has got a mass grave uh, containing the bodies of 35 miners what died in uh, the Oaks Colliery disaster. So after the disaster, a inquest was opened and it was found at this inquest, but the Oaks Colliery had not had a proper inspection from government officials for quite a number of years. So that was another contributing factor to what went wrong on this site. Over the years, Oaks Colliery transformed into Barnsley, Maine on the same site and this eventually closed in 1991. Obviously in that era is when we lost most of our coal mines in South Yorkshire, North Derbyshire. Most of them just wiped off face of earth and replaced by retail parks and industrial parks, etc, etc. But fair play to Barnsley Council who saved 
this particular headgear and it's now been grade 2 listed so it's uh, not going anywhere soon and it serves as a permanent reminder of the rich coal mining history of this area and as a tribute to all the people that died here at Barnes the Main and Oaks Colliery. So as we approach the headgear there is uh, another post sticking out the ground I don't know if this is purely decorative but usually when you find these kind of posts at old mine sites it usually indicates but there was a shaft located underneath just as we can see over there with the old oaks ventilation shaft markers but this is the surviving headgear it's uh, had a fresh lick of paint by the looks of it Plenty of graffiti on it, lovely. You can see clearer now the uh, archway where the wagons would have gone in on the uh, old railway which we looked at earlier. And you can see there where uh, parts of the building's been blocked off with uh, breeze blocks bricked up. I would imagine that's to uh, stop people getting in just trying to see if we've uh, got any gaps where I can shove camera through just to uh, get you a glimpse inside but it doesn't look like uh, we're gonna succeed Have a look here because it looks like we might be able to get the camera in there. Ah, it's been bricked up. You can see we lift the camera up and you can see it's been bricked up from inside. So it's uh, two layers of protection there, steel doors, and it's been bricked up as well. So they've uh, they have got this place on lockdown. So that's it from Barnsley. We'll be back next time with another interesting video on some obscure locations what usually fly on the radar so until next time have fun see you later